Hey, what's up? Pizza Loving Nerd here. This week, Big Daddy Linux Live is doing an Arch Linux challenge. So, I thought I'd start a small mini series on alternative ways to install Arch. That way, if you need to install Arch but you don't want to have to learn how to install it yourself, then you could use one of these methods. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use AUI, which is my favorite method of installing Arch other than the Arch way. So, yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is connect to the internet. Now, uh, if you are using Ethernet, then uh, you probably won't need to connect. Uh, however, if you are using Wi-Fi, then you're going to want to type Wi-Fi-menu to connect to Wi-Fi. Once you're connected to Wi-Fi, just run pinggoogle.com just to make sure that you can uh, connect to the internet, and then hit Control c once you're done. Now we are going to want to increase the cow space partition. To do this, type mount dash o, remount, and then size equals two, and capital G for gigabytes. Then slash run slash arch iso slash cow space. Okay, so now that we've increased our cow space, we're going to want to download the files. So there are several URLs to download it from. You can do bit.ly, you can do the GitHub shortened version, and you can do ow.le. Uh, all of these will be in the description. However, I'm just going to do the standard GitHub one. So type we get https colon slash slash github.com slash howmothdo slash aur slash tarball slash master dash capital zero dash and then that wine thing and then tar.xz. So this will download it. Now if you type ls, you will notice that it has been downloaded, so type cd, uh, and then helmuthdo-aur, and then a number, or whatever. Now type ls again, and you shall, you should be able to see uh, FIFO and Lilo. Now, uh, FIFO is the system base, and then Lilo is like your desktop, your display manager, all of that. So we're going to use FIFO first. To do this, type dot slash FIFO. Now it will give you this, just hit continue, and uh, now it will start uh, downloading your package base. And now we're going to basically complete all of the things in the checklist. So first we're going to select my key map. Now I am English, which means I will use... Uh, actually, it's not big enough. It's not showing the ones at the top. Okay, so for a US keyboard layout, you would type 210. And now for our editor, we're going to select whichever one you want. I prefer Nano. Uh, for your mirror list, uh, basically just select your country. Now, even though I'm American, I live pretty close to Canada, so I typically choose Canadian mirror lists. Because usually, instead of going to... Uh, when I choose America, it goes to like a U uh, New York mirror or something. Uh, instead of something like a Vancouver mirror. So now, as you can see, all of the mirrors are here, so just hit Control o and Enter. For our partition scheme, we're going to choose whichever one you want. I'm going to choose Default. And for our partition program, I recommend CFDisk. And then we'll select your hard drive and configure your partitions. All you really need is one for root. Now select your root partition. Uh, choose the file system. I'm going to use ext4. And it will format. Now you could choose whether or not you want a swap partition, I'm going to choose skip, and hit enter. Next we will install our base system, so to do that just type 5 and hit enter, and then hit Y. Now once this is done, it will ask what kind of kernel you want, we're going to do just normal Linux. Although, you can also use hardened and LTS. And now, from here, it will install a bunch of stuff, so I'm, I will go into fast motion. Oh wait, I forgot Caden Live removed the speed feature, oof. 12 seconds later. Okay, so uh, the base system is done installing, so now we're going to configure FSTAP. Now you can choose whether to use dev, which I believe means dev SDA and stuff. Uh, a label, which I believe means like the name of your hard drive, and I don't know what UUID is. So I'm just going to do dev because I don't know what I'm doing. And then uh, write it and hit uh, control X. Now for the host name, choose pretty much whatever. I'm going to do arch... Or I'm going to do AUI VM. 
uh, for our time zone, we are going to set it to uh, whichever your time zone is. So for me, I'm in Los Angeles time. That's 74, and yes, confirm. Now to configure our hardware clock, I recommend doing UTC, although if you are dual booting with Windows, I would do local time. Uh, now for wool Kyle, hit 10, and I am ENUS. So that for me, that would be... Uh, that would be... Okay, appears ENUS is being cut off, so I'll just do uh, EN... GB instead, which is Great Britain. So I am US, it's just it got cut off. And for me, any English is fine. <laughs> now we're gonna want to configure uh, MK init CPIO. So hit 11, and it will just basically it makes a RAM disk environment. Okay, now we will install bootloader. So type 12, and uh, I'm gonna select grub, and uh, now it's installing grub. And you could choose to whether do it automatically or manually. I recommend automatic because it's easier. Three days later. Okay, once that's done, we're finally just gonna set our root password. And there we go. So now we are done with the uh, base install. So now type D, and we will reboot the system. Okay, once the system reboots, you're gonna wanna log in with root, so type root for the login, and then for the password, type the same password that you set earlier. And now we're gonna type cd, and then go back into the AUI directory, and we're gonna type dot slash lilo. So, uh, then hit enter. And now we'll configure, uh, pacman. So default system language, just set it to what you were at earlier. Now, uh, you can create a new user. Um, I'm going to create a user named Pizza. I'm going to set the password to be uh, the same as my root password. So, office. We'll do my room. I don't care about this. So now we'll type in our password. And hit enter. And now you could choose to either get your own bash RC file, get the uh, how move to bash RC file or use a vanilla one, which I recommend doing. Select your editor again. Select your AUR helper, I recommend yay. Three hours later. Okay, so now it will ask you if you would like to have automatic mode. Uh, make sure to press no. And now from here, this is where you can choose everything. So at first we'll open up basic setup, and if you want you can add custom repositories. Uh, however, I don't have any to add, so um, I'm not going to add any. And then it will install some bash tools. Once the bash tools are done, it will install some uh, uncompressed compression tools. Once that's done, it will install some uh, networking stuff. And then it will install uh, ALSA. Basically, it's just going to install a bunch of stuff. So uh, again, I'll, I'm going to go through all of this. Okay, so uh, after a while, we'll start asking you whether or not you want to install different stuff. So, uh, yeah. Now, uh, for the video card, it will automatically install non-free drivers for you, which is pretty nice. So that's a cool feature. Eventually, If it asks you to, whether or not you want to install additional firmwares, I recommend choosing yes, and then uh, just making sure that all the firmwares you need uh, are there and then you don't have to install the ones you don't need. And uh, once the basic setup is done, now we can customize it a little bit. So uh, you can choose a desktop. I'm gonna choose uh, XFCE because it's small and this won't be my main system. So once you choose a desktop, you can also choose a uh, display manager. I'm going to use uh, white DM. And you can choose an icon theme, which is optional. Now it will ask you to choose a network manager. I recommend just choosing one for the normal network manager. You can get modem support if you want, and Bluetooth support if you want. And yeah, that's the desktop environment. Now we are going to want to choose some apps, so uh, just uh, choose all of your apps from each one. For example, I'm going to do Pamac, uh, and that, that's all I'm going to choose from accessories. And then after you choose it, it will install it. 
So not only is there accessories, but there's development apps, office apps, system apps, uh, graphics apps, internet apps, audio apps, video apps, games, and uh, then after that, once I do all of this, I'll cut to the webs, um, all of the stuff under that. So this will take a while, I'm not going to go through every single one. This isn't uh, supposed to be an in-depth tutorial, it's supposed to mostly be a video telling you about AUI, but so yeah. Several bad puns later. Okay, so uh, once you have set up all of your apps, uh, you can check on web server. Now, if you want to set up a web server, either a WAMP, a LAP, a LEMP, or a LEP server, then select one of these. But if you don't, then you don't need one. Now, for fonts, we are going to want to install uh, Noto Fonts CJK. So, type 10, and this will make it so that uh, your system doesn't glitch out whenever Asian fonts are being displayed. Uh, once that is done, if you need IBES or uh, Fritix, I don't know how to pronounce that, then you can install them, but I don't need them. Now, uh, you can go into, uh, if you need Profile Sync Demon, you can get it from Extra. And now, we're done, so just type uh, 16 to Queen Orphan Packages. A few inches later. And now, we are done, so type Q. And then, uh, press, uh, enter, and we are done. So, uh, you can, uh, just hit control C, or control Z, one of the two, and then type, uh, reboot. Okay, well, once this is done, uh, we're in our display manager. Now, for some reason, it does load Weston as default, so make sure to set it as your actual desktop. And now, once that's done, once I log in, we have a nice XFCE instance of Arch Linux. So, uh... So as you can see here, we got the standard XFCE setup. I'll just use the default configuration, and boom! So that's how you install Arch using AUI. Hopefully this video helped you, and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.